Hello everyone, Viv is back once again with episode 6 of Daedalic December. After last night's, or I guess yesterday's, depending on when you watched it, failure of Daedalic December as playing one of the worst games I've ever played. It just didn't want to cooperate at all. Let's see if we can redeem ourselves with one of the games that I am most excited to play. I saw this one on Steam when I was looking up the whole bundle just to see if the games would be worth owning, and this was one, this was probably my second favorite game. I just, I saw it and I just fell in love with it. I cannot wait to play it. Alright, so give me one second here. Make sure everything is good. Alright, everything should be good. Now let's see... Yes. We have some beautiful music. Hopefully it's not going to be too loud. Just in case, let's turn it down just a hair. It won't have to be too much. Should be good. Alright, and let's start a new game and see what this game is like. Let's do it. And so it begins. My apprentice's finest hour. Beautiful music. If only I had been there. I could have prevented it all. And the voice acting is still so much better than the last game. Disappearing chest. Nifty. Hey, what is this? A stranger can guide you through the mists. A stranger, a strange glade, a legendary tree, a figure dressed in black, and a traveler's case. How mysterious. Indeed, what the hell are these? Are these just pictures or something? Weird. Some kids. Hat. Some hatted kid here. Sure. Okay, so I am the rabbit, I'm guessing. Now, does space work with this as well? It does not. That does not give me hope for Deponia, honestly. I don't know if space works for Deponia either. There is an odd figure, and it looks like that's pretty much it. Let's talk to him. Oh, who are you? Can you not speak? Does that mean you don't know? Are you lost? Yes? Oh, so you're looking for the beginning of your story. Maybe? If we can find you a beginning, you'll know where to go from there. <laughs> You have no idea how lucky you were to cross my path. I know a lot about stories. I hope you aren't just here to steal one of mine. Of course not. You aren't, are you? You just said no. All right. To find your beginning, we must look for something that feels like once upon a time. Follow me. At me. This is a tutorial. There you are. Now we just have to find your beginning. Even if you lose yourself, beginnings can be found anywhere. And only those who start can find their way. And you will recognize it. A beginning smells like the air in spring and the hope for more. A beginning is... I think you already know. Endings, on the other hand. Well, we can worry about those later. Do you understand? 
See? They already treat this better. Notice when the voice actors come across an ellipses? They actually pause, they give inflection, whereas in the other game that I just played, there was no inflection, there was no pause, it was literally just sound bites, and then the sound bite ended for the ellipses, and a new sound bite began. It was so robotic sounding. I suppose I understand. Mm -hmm. really? endings can be found anywhere. It's been a long time since I've met someone with such a keen intellect. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear something? Oh. The fog must be playing tricks on my imagination. The dragon. It's gotten cold, don't you think? Or perhaps a lizard. Follow me. I don't know. Did it get cold? I have no idea. Oh, the rabbit looks so cool. Look at him, he's so majestic. It is kind of foggy, though. There's your beginning. It's really lucky you stumbled upon me. Yeah, I don't think you before. would have found your beginning all by yourself. Well, it doesn't you seem like it was that difficult. Somehow. I'm sure we shall meet again. Unless the fog thickens more, I can't see the hand in front of my face already. Yeah, it is pretty thick. Has it gotten thicker? Strange fellow. <laughs> he reminds me of a character in one of my old tales. I hope he finds his way. Not even I could say where he'll end up if he doesn't. Or when, even. So, let's help his beginning along a bit. Ah, this beginning rhymes. I must note it down right away. There's something special about a rhyming beginning? A Dalek entertainment? After a long summer day in a place not far away, Jeremiah Hazelnut was tucked in bed to dream of the dream that he always had. Each night to his mother, Jerry did say, I want to be a magician one day. And each night she would reply, as mothers do, One day, sweet son, your dream will come true. And as mothers do, she whispers, Good night. Soon Jeremiah Hazelnut would sleep tight and soon, very soon, as dreams sometimes do, the dream that he had would come true. Oh, I get the rhyming aspect. Oh, beautiful. It has a certain Studio Ghibli feel to it, kind of. Not the art style or anything, but, you know, just, I don't know. There's the rabbit. I'm hoping the music's not too loud. And if you hear squeaks, of course, that's just my stupid chair. Jerry! Jerry! Uh, uh yeah? What do you want, um? Wake up, sleepyhead! Oh, oh no! A am I going to be late for school? Come outside and enjoy the sunshine! You don't want to sleep away your whole summer vacation, do you? Summer vacation? Jerry, school starts the day after tomorrow. You don't have to worry about your things until then. <laughs> I still have two days before school starts. Nice. That's gotta be a nice. I've still two feeling. whole days of adventure left. Haha. <laughs> uh, like we do every day with our morning calisthenics. It's our program. Start the day fit and cheerful. What on earth is this? Usually it's the top forty playing all day long. The crows must have overdone it yesterday. There's not a single one in the sky this morning. What a beautiful day. 
Crows? But don't just sit there and rust, or you'll just make it easier for them tomorrow. Okay, follow my lead. If you don't want to listen to our program, then go ahead and start your day any way you like. Imagine a small X floating in the air. You can click on it to drop out at any time. What? Wow. Oh. When he says it like that, I can practically see the X floating in front of me. But why would you want <laughs> to drop out? What? You think you already know everything? Yeah. Smart Alec. Touch the radio. Imagine a mouse pointer. Move it to the radio and then click with the left mouse button. Now that's pretty cool. So this is quitting? No, it's skipping. Oh, I see. So it's probably saying that's how you can skip the tutorial. That is really cool. Uh, it didn't feel like it broke the fourth wall or anything. It almost feels like the whole kid is imagining my whole entire interface. Which is really nifty. Never seen that before. Good job! Well done! Heh, <laughs> child's play. You can tackle anything just like that. Looking, talking, using, running around. Just click on it. One click. Everything is just one click. Yeah, yeah. Is this a sales presentation or what? Now, let's try it again. This time, talk to the radio. Yes, that thing where the voice comes from. Talk to the radio? <laughs> Once again, just click on it. <laughs> I'm not talking to a radio. <laughs> Hello? Hello, hello! You did very well. Thanks, but how? One click. Everything is just one click. Did you notice how your muscles and sinews stretch when you click on something? Doesn't that feel good? He's right. I ought to do morning calisthenics more often. You're probably thinking, I ought to do morning calisthenics more often. Man, he's good. <laughs> you know what? What? You can. It's our program. Start the day fit and cheerful. And on we go. Some things can be looked at and picked up. That's good for the back. So keep looking at things and picking them up. Now find yourself an object to look at. Hmm. How about that basket on the windowsill? You already found something to pick up? Go ahead then. <laughs> okay, trying space again. Yeah, still nothing. It might happen though. No, who knows? That's the way. That's good for the back. You are now carrying the basket. You open the inventory by scrolling down with the mouse wheel, or by pressing the I key. Man, oh man! Now, let's try it again. Have a peek in your inventory. Hmm, is it only down with the mouse wheel, or would up work too? Does ah, up cool. does work too. Your inventory. You can carry a lot more around in here than you'd think. And carrying objects around is healthy. You can also look at them. To do that, Click on them with the right mouse button. A Daedalic trope of sorts. Ah, oh, nice basket. Hey, looking with the right mouse button works really well. Looking with the right <laughs> mouse button works really well, doesn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. And now we'll try the left mouse button. Use the left mouse button to take items out of your inventory. Left click on the basket. I don't know why I find that so funny when the radio just repeats what he said. Oh, Oops. Wow. The handle fell off. That isn't supposed to happen. Normally, you would just pick the basket back up. But don't panic. Remember, there are no problems, only challenges. You're bound to repair that basket in no time, for sure. Use the left mouse button to select items in your inventory. That will allow you to use them with other items in your inventory. Use one of the items with another one. That will get your circulation going. <laughs> there! That wasn't so hard. True. It was easy. And do you notice how your pulse is calming? Feels good to repair something you broke, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And now for the next step. You can also use items with your environment. Left click on the basket and then carry it out of your inventory by moving it past the inventory's edge or by pressing the I key. Or scroll up with the mouse wheel. So I have to left click and drag? Oh, there we go. Okay, so there we Very go. Very good. Try showing the basket to a beloved family member. Hmm. Who should I show the basket to? 
I think your mother is hanging up the laundry in the meadow in front of the house. Man, he's good. <laughs> wow. It's as if he's talking to me. Use your basket with your mother by moving the basket to her and clicking the left mouse button. Oh, Jerry, as you've got the basket. Yeah, and I didn't break it at all. <laughs> That's fantastic. Could you go and pick some blackberries for me? For? For blackberry pie. Of course. Oh, hmm. boy. Sounds pick delicious. Blackberries. Check. Okay, so... Congratulations! You've completed your fitness program for today. And remember, a simple leg cramp could cost you your life when you're fleeing from a wild crow. Huh? What's he talking about? Stay fit, stay cheerful. Mousewood Radio now continues with the leaf fall report. Mousewood Radio? Huh, never heard of that. It must have something to do with sunspots. Alrighty then. Again, testing out the spacebar. Again, doesn't work. That's too bad. A tasty slice of pie awaits Jerry, but for that, his mother needs a basket filled with blackberries. Only two days... wait... Have I read this before? No, I don't think so. Only two days of summer vacation left. Adventure ho! Jerry's sweetest dream is becoming a magician. While he's asleep, glowing red eyes watch him in the night. Okay, a strange glade, a legendary tree, a figure dressed in black, and a traveler's case. How mysterious. A stranger can guide you through the mists. Ooh. Pretty exciting. So it is a journal of sorts. Um, I'm guessing the blackberries are going to be somewhere... Oh ho! Oh. Oh, oh, they look delicious. <laughs> oh, I can just take them. Blech. And eat They're them. sour. Ugh. Why do red currants always trick me like that? Uh, it must be the bright red color. That's pretty great. Mom. Yes. What, what was I supposed to pick for you? Um, it was raspberries, wasn't it? Blackberries, silly! Blackberries! Use the basket on the windowsill and don't just stick the berries in your pockets! I won't. Thanks! <laughs> <laughs> Who says you can't teach a 12-year-old new tricks? Ugh, my school stuff is in there waiting to be packed. But, adventure awaits out here. At least until lunch. And at three, there's a new episode of Future Dogs, Four-Legged Time Travelers. Alrighty then. As so many of our listeners have requested it, we'll now repeat our program, Start the Day Fit and Cheerful. Oh, I'm getting too old for these fitness shows. To prepare for our exercises, please place a piece of basketry on a nearby windowsill. Wow, it's a good thing I still have the basket. There, like new. Touch the radio. Interesting. Imagine a mouse pointer. Move it to the radio and then click with the left mouse button. So you can redo the uh, tutorial if you want, but of course of I'm course, just going to skip it. Of course, you can also start your day without our program, Start the Day Fit and Cheerful. Tune in again anytime. Just click on your radio. And remember, a simple leg cramp could cost you your life when you're fleeing from a wild crow. Huh? What's he talking about? Stay fit, stay cheerful. Mousewood Radio now continues with the Leaf Fall Report. Mousewood Radio? <laughs> Never heard of that. It must have something to do with sunspots. <laughs> uh, at least you can skip it really easily. Handy. Oh, Jerry! As you've got the basket, could you go and pick some blackberries for me? For? For blackberry pie. Of course! Oh, boy. Pick blackberries, check. It seems like if you've already heard the conversation, it actually kind of speeds it up, which is kind of cool. I'll take one for later. That's supposed to be good for your eyes, and an adventurer like me needs to see everything. <laughs> hmm, strange. Footprints. A large animal must have run through the carrots under my window last night. I'd say it was a mysterious, long-extinct mammal. The Kremlin wolf. 
Ever since I became a junior member of the Jungle Explorers Club, my theories have sounded a lot more convincing. So much <laughs> expertise for just 50 cents a month. <laughs> we call that old rock the dwarf. Mum says it's been living here since long before we came. Please keep watching out for us, old dwarf. Mmm, hmm, sweet and juicy. Jerry! I'm okay, Mum. I won't need them all. What? Jerry, I just want to remind you to pack your things for school tomorrow. Yeah, I'll do it. School. <laughs> huh. eh, empty. I think Mum already picked up the mail. Alright, so what else is there that we can do? Dry as a bone. Hasn't rained for weeks. What a summer. Alright, I think that's pretty much it, besides maybe this plant? Well, camouflage secret stash, what? Hmm. No marauding kids in sight, and also no sign of the gremlin wolf. Huh. As usual, the coast is clear. My secret stash. Oh, I shudder to think what havoc my magical tools could cause in the hands of a lesser magician. The whole <laughs> world would be in peril. <laughs> what do we have here? Matches, firecrackers, and my gold coin. Let the adventure begin! Oh, ah, better not leave it open. You never know. <laughs> Don't want the gremlin wolf to pick up my scent. Gremlin wolf. Oh, please. There's the gold coin, and the matches, and the firecrackers. Alright, so I'm sure we're gonna need those sometime, so it's a good thing we probably did get them. As the currents, the currants, or however you said it. I don't know what a current is. Oh, look at this. This looks like it's almost Dr. Pepper. Who dumps that trash here in the woods? Oh, unbelievable. Probably gonna be useful. Alright. Uh, I can't count the times I got a splinter trying to climb it. Doesn't even look wood. Well, maybe, maybe. Mum says people put up these little animal statues a long time ago to bring luck to hikers. I think there were more of them a couple of years ago. Hmm. Ah. Oh, that's probably this. Okay. You made yourself comfortable, lazy bones. <laughs> That's all he says is... Hmm. The owl's wall. It goes all the way to the big tree in the woods. Whoa. This doesn't look country. This looks very urban here. Uh, the town looks so grey again today. When I was young, there was nothing but fields here as far as you could see. No, but seriously. Since they built the supermarket next to the school, it looks even worse down there. School. <laughs> Only two days of summer vacation left. Then I'll be stuck down there in a classroom again. Now that's an even worse thought. <laughs> Although, that means there's still two days of adventure left. Sometimes I think the statue looks greedy. Other times I think it looks needy. I wonder why. Because it hasn't done it? Maybe. It looks so... satisfied. Alrighty then. Blackberries. Thorny bush. That prickly bush thinks it can keep me away from the juicy blackberries back there. Someone should teach it a lesson. Ow! <laughs> ah, you win this round, Grandma Bush. Hmm. How much would I bet we gotta burn it with matches? Burn it with fire. Yeah. Please go away. Nope. That's not worth my last match. Oh, I guess not. That's too bad. What else could we do? Hmm. 
This looks like it's actually broken? Yeah, it's not going to go bang anymore. The black powder's leaking out. Hmm... That could be the trick. Charge defective. Blasting impossible. <laughs> oh. Alrighty then. That didn't work. Did you mix the two That's not worth my last match. Hmm. Well... Maybe there's something else that needs to be done. Let's go down this weird place here. That stuttering so when it shifts. Here. Like the town is miles away. When it shifts the panning, it's kind of kind of annoying. But maybe that's just the way it's supposed to be. Ugh. What am I supposed to do with such a heavy rock? I can't carry it very far. <laughs> oh. Maybe put it over here? Uh, so, so. I'll put the heavy rock back. That's really hard on the arms. <laughs> well, darn it. I always used to sit on this rock, because it felt like I was riding a great big animal. I'm too old for that now. Of course. You can draw really well with these chalk stones. I think I'll take one. You never know. That uh, could be useful, I'm sure. I heard there used to be an old trail here. Maybe that's why we call this a path tree. Anyway, this is now a dead end. Doesn't look too dead endy to me. Looks like there's something over here. Hmm. One of my books says that mushrooms only grow in circles in special places, near entrances to the realm of the fairies. But it also says that fairies can be really, really unfriendly. Hmm. I'd rather not meet any. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, I wonder if the stick is the way to do it. Beat up the bush with the stick. Seems like it would make sense. Let's try using this chalk. I'd better not this. scribble on that. Oh, I was really hoping he could make like a magic symbol or something. The owl's wall. It runs between the trees. But you can't go up here? Really? That looks like grass to me. Hmm. Alrighty. Like I said, I think the stick. Oh, I used hold to on. fish for tadpoles here. The water actually looks pretty clear, but sometimes it smells just awful. So can you like pick up the heavy stone and throw it in the pond? Ugh. What am I supposed to do with such a heavy rock? I can't do carry it. it very far. Don't carry it. Throw it in the pond. Yeah. I'll put the heavy rock back. That's oh. really hard on the arms. Hmm. Well, there has to be something to do with it. Who knows what it is? Hmm? Yes. Mum says there used to be important trails to faraway places here, long before there were cars. Today, you can only get from here to our house and to the woods where the old path tree is. Hmm, interesting. Very confused as to what to do. But I think it may be... What's this? Ah, there are blackberries back there, but this brambly bush is in the way. Oh, what is this? Ah, here we go. A brambly bush bars the way. A tasty slice of pie awaits Jerry. But for that, his mother needs his- oh wait, that- that's old. Yeah, that's old. So a brandly bush bars the way. So how do we get rid of the bush? The only thing I can think of that I haven't tried is the stick. Maybe to beat it up. Alright, I have no other choice. Yes! It's gonna work. Wow. Ah! That is a no super magical stand stick. between me and Mum's blackberry pie. A fatal mistake. <laughs> what was that? I some berries from the bush, I'm guessing. They look like they can't wait to be picked. They go into the basket. Or oh, more tasty looking blackberries. They also look like they need picking. Ew, and now there's cobwebs, spider webs, and blackberries. Why does a spider have to make its home in my blackberries? Um, Maybe 
It's planning to lure berry picking adventurers into a trap. Ha! No way. You can't fool Jerry Hazelnut. Um. Stick again? Good idea. Yeah. Cut those webs. Very now good. It's off. They're screaming to be picked. <laughs> I got all the blackberries. All right, that wasn't too difficult. So it basically was the stick. Pretty simple. Kind of strange that he was able to get rid of the bush or the brambly bush in two swipes of a stick. Seems a little bit magical. Now I've got a whole basket full of raspberries. Blackberries. Mmm, <laughs> this should earn me the first and biggest piece of blackberry pie. Mom! Yes! I got the blackberries for you. Thanks, sweetheart. In that case, you can have the first piece of the blackberry pie. Yay! Mmm, blackberry pie is delicious. W wait a sec. Only the first piece. And <laughs> the biggest, Jerry. And so the hazelnut family narrowly escapes a diplomatic incident. <laughs> huh? Um, what was that? What was that? <laughs> That's what I said. Let's see. Oh, I see. These are like quests. As they get done, they go down in these gray areas. Okay. So let's see, what was... What was updated? There's there's nothing new. Huh. Wait, is that that? No, that, that's already... Huh, weird. Anyway, Something's find out what there. this is. Whoa, holy cow! Okay. Try again. Be brave, as long as it's not a gremlin wolf. There's nothing to be afraid of. I bet it's just a pesky raccoon. Very careful. A flying raccoon? What was that? The letter just flew into my pocket. <laughs> okay. Flying letter? What may have... What may be written down on it? Okay. I think white is like your current quest. So basically, I mean, that's pretty easy. You just read the letter. A flying triangular letter? And there's no return address. Let's see what's inside. There's a weird symbol in the poem underneath it. How he made a carrot flame. After drawing on rock, a symbol all in white. Grinding white to powder makes it right. Then add black in turn. The kind you should be loath to burn. Black and white as they combine. The inside of your vessel line. Then three more things. Tree skin, tree fruit. And lastly but not least, a root. At the crossroads, draw a circle with the powder mix obtained. Put the vessel in the center of the powder ring, thus gained. Set the circle bang on fire. The carrot flame leaps higher and higher. And I will swallow it in haste. To enjoy the lovely taste. Oh my god, that seems like it's gonna be pretty crazy. <laughs> what was it? Inside the envelope is a recipe for a carrot flame, whatever this may be. Ah. Okay. One moment here. Let me go ahead and check my recording real quick. Not too bad. I think we can do a little bit more. Let's see if we can get a little bit of work done on this riddle. So it seems a little confusing, but I think it said something about drawing on a rock, which this rock already looks like it's drawn on, but let's let's continue to draw on it further with this chalk. I could crush the chalk under the heavy stone, but where should I do it? Oh, but aren't you supposed to draw on a rock? It's a Hold on. Can I read this again? There's a weird symbol in the poem underneath it. How he made a carrot flame. After drawing on rock, a symbol all in white. 
Grinding white to powder makes it right. Then add black in turn. The kind you should be loath to burn. Black and white as they combine the inside of your vessel line. Then three more things. Tree skin, tree fruit, and lastly but not least, a root. At the crossroads, draw a circle with the powder mix obtained. Put the vessel in the center of the powder ring, thus gained. Set the circle bang on fire. The carrot flame leaps higher and higher, and I will swallow it in haste to enjoy the lovely taste. Hmm. Man, I really wish there was a way to just put that into text so that I could just read certain parts of it. Um, so it basically wants me to draw on a rock. And I guess that's not the correct rock? Maybe one of these rocks. An excellent place for me to draw with the chore. I will draw the symbol from the flying letter. Ah. There. Okay. Huh? Squirrel. Oh. How cute. It almost seems like they want to tell me something. What the heck is that oh, over there? Gone again. <laughs> they left something. Looks like they left something by the mushrooms. Yeah, what is that? Squirrel's bark. Oh, that's the skin of the tree, like they were saying. How strange. The squirrels left a piece of bark here in the mushroom circle. I'd better take that. Yeah, definitely. Now, fruit of the tree. I'm thinking that's the acorns that I couldn't reach. Maybe another job for the stick? Perhaps. Let's see. A uh, stick? Acorns. Ha! I could do this in my sleep! Whoa! Oh, heck yeah. That was awesome. Look how many I got. <laughs> Not bad. So I'm guessing that's the fruit of the tree. The root, I'm not really 100% sure unless this is a root. Cool! Rose hips. When they're dried, you can use them as itching powder. Hmm. Alrighty. So now. Hmm. Whoa. What am I supposed to do with such a heavy rock? I can't carry it very far. I feel like I've got to bring it over here. Uh, no? I'll put the heavy rock back. That's really hard on the arms. Hmm. Is this something? No. Pond. Stone. Can I look at it? No. Okay. Let's try this again and see if we can grind this now that I've already used it. I could crush the chalk under the heavy stone, but where should I do it? Like right here. Crumbled chalk. But oh, there we go. The pond smells so fishy in the summer that you can't eat anywhere near it. Not even a bite of blackberry pie. Oh, I skipped a bit of text. Oh, that's all right. Ugh. What am I supposed to do with such a heavy rock? I can't carry it very far. Crush the chalk. That's really hard on the arms. Bam! <laughs> it pulverized the crumbly rock, just like the poem described. Pretty cool. Now I've got fine white chalk powder. Well, it feels Perfect. good in my hands. Hmm. Now where did it say to put it? It said to combine it with the black, so we gotta click this and click that. Obviously. Fits. Now we've got the mixture. <laughs> ah, black and white make grey. Just like with my pictures in art cloth. Now, is it supposed to be over here? That won't do any good. No? Here? That won't do any good. Hmm. Maybe I'm missing something. That's something about a carrot. So let's try the carrot first. Maybe that's the first part. I'd better hold on to that. Is it over here? I'd better hold on to that. Over here? I'd better hold on to that. Ugh, fine. Fine, I will read the poem again. Grr. There's a weird symbol Let's in the see. poem underneath it. How he made a carrot flame. After drawing on rock, a symbol all in white. Yeah, that's done. Grinding white to powder makes it right. Okay. Then add black in turn. The kind you should be loath to burn. Black and white as they combine the inside of your vessel line. Then three more things. Tree skin, tree fruit, and lastly but not least, a root. At the crossroads, draw a circle with the powder mix obtained. Put the vessel in the center of the powder ring, thus gained. Set the circle bang on fire. The carrot flame leaps higher and higher, 
and I will swallow it in haste to enjoy the lovely taste. Oh, it said something about the crossroads. I missed that before. So this is the crossroads. So, but where? Hmm. I wonder if it has a certain place. Mum says there used to be important trails to faraway places here, long before there were cars. Today, I if it's just you can this only thing. get from here to our house and to the woods where the old path tree is. This says forest crossroads, so maybe this is it. Maybe this is where I need to spread the powder. Yes, according to the message, I'm supposed to use this here at the forest crossroads somehow. But I think I need some sort of container. I should take a closer look at the message again. Container? It said something about a vet? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe the can. Yeah, there we go. It's in. Okay, so now I put the can here. Almost done. But something is still missing. I should take a closer look at the message again. Oh, you have to put everything in the can. I don't see how a piece of bark is going to go in the can, but okay. Yeah, I have the feeling the order isn't quite right. Okay, so... Stop that, put that in there. Yeah, I have the feeling the order isn't quite right. Alrighty. Let's try this one. Okay, that's good. Also in. And what about this now? Is it happy? Yes. Yep. And then the root, I'm guessing, is this? Maybe? Rose hips are cool, but disappointingly useless. Oh, it's not that. Maybe it's the carrot. Yes. Okay, now everything is in. Awesome. Now we can take the can that has everything in it. What are the okay, crossroads? That should do the trick. Oh. Oh, that's strange. Cool. Okay, so is everything ready now? And now we should be able to blow it up. Weirdly mysterious. Very. I agree. Do it. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> That's what I said too. Whoa. It's an impossible trunk. And I conjured it up. Yeah! I knew it. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> Hazelnut is nuts, they said. There's no such thing as magic, they said. They'll all eat their words. <laughs> oh, this... An impossible traveler's case appeared in the clearing. What is behind all of this? I don't know. Interesting, though. The great Zaroff experienced the greatest illusionist of our time, but it doesn't say when and where the show is. How strange. The poster looks pretty old, too. I wonder if the trunk here belonged to Zaroff. I'll just take one of his posters. Oh, there's a rip in the lining of the trunk lid. Well, a little rip is no big deal. That's easy to repair. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hey, there's a magic wand in the lining. It yes. almost looks like somebody hid it there. Awesome! Magic is so cool! Um, oh, there's a hat too! Grab the hat. Whoa, holy cow! What? Again? Man, oh man, magicians really need nerves of steel. Ah, we use the wand. Uh, the magic wand from the great Zaroff's traveling trunk. Can it really do magic? The great Zaroff. I wonder if that was his stuff in the trunk. His top hat. My lucky coin. I always use it to practice magic tricks. There's a weird oh. symbol in the. Oh. Oops, How that. you made a cat it. after black then three at the. Set down with that. Down with that. No matter what happens, I'm well prepared. I've got a stick. <laughs> I've got a stick. I think it's something to do with the magic top wand. Hat and magic wand. All right, Jerry, the time has come. You've been training for this for years. So, Abraka. Mm, 
Ready. <sighs> he drank the carrot juice. Whoa. It's been decades since I last drank a carrot flame. Ah, permit me to introduce myself. I am the Marquis, the Marquis de Hoto. Oh, the, the, you're, you're, you're... Arictogulus cuniculus sapiens, yes, indeed. Oh, oh, well, I'm Jeremiah. Jeremiah Hazelnut, the boy with the dream. What? You know my name. I know much more than that. Your summer vacation ends the day after tomorrow. That's right. <laughs> Unfortunately. Mathematics, leaky pens, hard wooden benches, dry chalk dust. You human children are so brave. Yet you dream of more. The murmur of the leaves in the wind. Ah, it reminds me of home. Where's that? My home? It's where I'm remembered. Yes, but where exactly? I can... I can... scarcely remember. <laughs> what? Jerry. Tell me, what's your greatest dream? I practice magic tricks in my free time, but... Oh, what's the point? I want to be a magician. <laughs> I know, for I am a magician. Beloved, feared, needed, and extremely brilliant. My goodness. Will you be my apprentice? What? Absolutely. Travel with me. Beyond the boundaries of the imaginary. Study the five fiery mantras of the Phoenix Conjuration and master every single facet of magic. Well, not all of them, perhaps. <coughs> this is fantastic, but... But? My mother says I have to be home for dinner. Jerry, your training will take days, weeks. <laughs> long time of course true training in the magical disciplines the study of the art of arts all of this takes time oh no and even time itself is an object of study for magicians he who studies time needs time then i probably won't be able to but Jerry, listen to me carefully. Forget impossible. For a magician, nothing is impossible. On a day in summer vacation, anything is possible. I promise you that you'll be back in time for dinner. Are you ready to trust me, Jeremiah Hazel? I am. You carry a certain coin. What? How, how do you know that? It has a very special form. Where did you get it? I... I don't know exactly. It seems like I've always had it. Something is missing here. Don't worry, Jenny. Everything which is lost will turn up again. I... I always used to practice my magic tricks with it. Look through the hole in your coin. Its magic power will grant you a new view of the world. What you'll see is magical iridescence. From now on, the coin will show you what might be helpful in your training. Oh, awesome! That's the spacebar ability. Awesome! To look through your magic coin and see things that are invisible to the naked eye, open the inventory and click on the coin. Or you can also press the spacebar or the middle mouse button at any time. Magical iridescence? The coin! All of a sudden it tingles on my skin. Take good care of your coin. My magic will protect you from being forgotten. We're leaving this world. We have no time to lose. After all, you want to be home in time for dinner. You will need this.
Jerry, do you remember what I told you? Uh, nothing is impossible. And soon it will no longer sound like a question when you say it. Wait! Wow, you just vanished. Do you know this place, Jerry? Sure, that's the old path tree. I am sure that you have sensed that this is a special place. Special? Magic. It's easy to get lost in places like this. Hey, I'm not a little kid anymore. Even adults can become lost in the woods. Do you sense something? I hear a, a rumbling. Use your coin, Jerry. Eh? Huh? Oh man, a toad! It's gigantic! The magic of this place allows it to survive here and grow, forgotten by time. But just as with any other power, magic too can be misused. Like the power of this portal tree. Then we intervene. We? The magicians, the tree walkers. Tree walkers? I thought I was a magician's apprentice. We tree walkers use magic portal trees to travel back and forth between different worlds. Different worlds? Places, times, and possibilities form an almost infinite number of worlds. You will be trained by me in the tradition of the tree walkers and acquire this ancient knowledge of walking between the worlds. Uh, that kind of sounds complicated. Uh, it's quite easy, almost like riding a bicycle. Really? <laughs> no. At worst, it feels as if you're being ground to a powder between two contradictions. I, I don't understand. None of us do, but you'll learn quickly. Portal tree? What does that mean? Portal trees are trees with roots that reach deep into the fabric of reality, so deeply that they exist in more than one place and time, creating magical connections. Some use these connections to move back and forth among the worlds. As do we tree walkers. But how do you use a portal tree? This is where magic begins. Wow, oh, cool. Go through the portal, Jerry. From now on, casting magic and wandering between worlds will be an important part of your life. Isn't it dangerous? I mean... Hey! Whoa! Someone is entering the clearing. Four. Four nails. I'm only a leaf in the eye of the storm. <gasps> we must hurry. We shall ride the wind. As we have always done. Cool. Hey! Whoa! Oh, I'm so tiny now. Oh wait, this is the same place. I'm just really this super still tiny. This looks like the woods we have back at home, only somehow a little bit different. Here we are. The farther we go from the portal tree, the more clearly you will come to realize that we have left the world you know far behind us. Only the parallels here at the portal tree suggest a connection. Such as this wall. Follow me, Jeremiah Hazelnut. Yeah, I knew you could walk on that. What's that creepy scarecrow, dude? Sorry about this being a longer video, it's just I don't want to... I don't want to stop it in the middle of this, like, cutscene. Once it's over, we'll be done. This is amazing, though. I am highly intrigued. I promised you magic. Another world. 
Before you, Jerry, lies mouse wood. Wow! Here you will complete your training. Well, where's the school? And, and all the teachers' nights? This world is very magical. Its trees send their roots deep into the earth and create connections like the one we use to get here. This world will be your school, and its inhabitants will teach you many things. This place may seem unusual to you, but soon it will be an important part of your life. And then, once your training is complete, you will see the world with the eyes of a tree walker. So follow me, young hazelnut. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I know this must still be overwhelming to you, but I need a moment. Just wait here. I'll be right back. I'm going to announce you to the town council. Uh, all right. Wow. Being this small is really interesting. Who would have thought that mice have towns? Well, hey! Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, what's this? Achievements! Aha! Follow the white rabbit. Hey, isn't that what Alice did? Mm, that does say Alice in Wonderland. Could there be... Could there be... Similarities between the two? I don't know, this may actually be Wonderland. That would be really cool. But let's test out this, uh, press in space. Oh! Wow, look at that. That is nice. It makes me wonder if Deponia is going to get something like this as well. And that is really, really helpful. So anyway, I'm really sorry about the, the video being so long, but honestly, I am so intrigued by this game. They did such a good job. The voice acting is great. It's intriguing. It seems like it's going to be incredibly cool, so I'm, I can't wait to come back to this game. Let's see if we can figure out how to save. Pretty sure... Oh, it even says so. That's nice. That's much better. What is the bonus collection? Audiobook? What? Stickers? Videos? Quart quartets? What are quartets? I don't know. There's an audiobook? That is fantastic. Does that mean that if you beat the game, you just get an audiobook so you can just like listen to the story that they made up for this game? Absolutely amazing. Uh, so there's the save. Let's go ahead and save. <clears throat> there we go. Good stuff. Nice and easy save. The game didn't crash. I didn't have any problems recording it, not even a slight problem with getting the resolution to look beautiful. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous game. I cannot recommend this enough. Again, this game is called The Night of the White Rabbit, or of the rabbit, sorry. And I do hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and leave a like, it does help out a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more videos, uh, comment, share, do whatever you see fit, and I will see you guys in the next Daedalic December. Check you later, Vitivus out.